Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the process of booting. So what is this booting process? So in the previous session, we have seen how to create the bootable drive and how to install the operating system in our hard disk, right? And in today's session, we'll see about this booting. So whenever the user press the power button, automatically the operating system will be loaded and the user will start working on the computer, right? So whatever the process that has been done after pressing the button and before loading the operating system is called the booting. Right? So we'll see what are the steps or what are the things happens in during this process. So the first step is power on. So user clicks on the power button. Okay, user clicks on the power button. So immediately after user clicking on the power button, the CPU will move to BIOS which is available in ROM. So ROM is read only memory, read only memory, right? So immediately whenever the user clicks on this power button, press this power button, automatically the CPU will first will move to the BIOS in ROM. What is the BIOS? BIOS is a basic input output system, basic input output system. And the next step, BIOS will be started execution. BIOS will be executed. So what actually execute execution? So what what actually will be executed by the BIOS? So it will be done the post post right? The post will be done. So what is this post? Post means power on self test. So this process will be executed by the BIOS. So power on self test. So here all the hardware will be checked all the hardware will be tested so whether the hardware is related to this cpu will are working condition or not if the hardware is not working condition automatically this the booting process will stop so if this post is successful if this post is successful means so the hardware is working condition so whatever the hardware related to this cpu will be in a working condition so now after that immediately whenever the power on self test is successful immediately the bios will load nbr nbr to ram now there's a one more term called ram random access memory right so the MBR, it will load the MBR to RAM. MBR means master boot record. Master boot record. So previously we are checking only the hardware, right? So after the hardware is working condition, then only we need to load the software into the RAM, right? So MBR is a master boot record that will be loaded into the RAM. Now the MBR, MBR will load bootloader bootloader to RAM. So what is this bootloader? This bootloader is the thing which loads the operating system to the RAM. Right? So this bootloader will uh, load the operating system into the RAM. So here there are different stages of bootloader. Right? So stage 1 and stage 2 will be there. The, now this bootloader will load operating system to RAM and it starts executing the operating system, right? So, so whatever the operating system, it may be the Windows or Linux, it will load the operating system into RAM and automatically the control will move to the operating system. So this is how, what happens during this booting process. That means whenever the user power on the system, so all this happens and finally the control will be moved to the operating system, right? So this is the process and this process we call as a booting. So there are different kinds of booting, right? 
So there are different kinds of booty. See, when a, the first first type of booting is hard booting and soft booting. So there are two types of booting process. Two types of booting: hard booting and soft booting. So this hard booting means nothing but power on the system. So whenever the user power on the system, that is called a hard booting, right? And soft booting means this is restart. Whenever the user clicks on the press on the restart button, or whenever the user clicks the control plus alt plus delete twice. Delete twice, automatically the system will be restarted, right? So this process is called a soft booting, and this process is called a hard booting. And this will be done. The soft booting can be done by pressing the restart button on the CPU, or by pressing the Control plus Alt plus Delete twice, right? So this is all about the booting process. That means what is the pro the process to be done immediately after the user uh, pressing the power button and the OS loads to the system, right? So let's stop here. And uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one, you can feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really understood my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.